Hello guys, how are we all doing? We're back with World Cup predictions. It's the first round of the group stage, guys. Get your predictions down below. Like I say, if you're a Patreon, comment down below because we're going to be keeping track of everyone's predictions and do a little predictions league. Um, we're joined by Sophie. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. Excited. Just a couple of days to go now. I know. Not long now. Honestly, it's going to be fun. Guys, get involved. We are bringing this video to you via BetMates. Now, BetMate are a great fancy football app. They're going to be having so much going on during the World Cup, especially loads of free pots every day. So if you get involved with that link down below, you could win money without even having to pay. Like I say, it's fancy football. So come and compete against us on BetMate. Thank you to them for sponsoring us. Let's get straight into these predictions. So I've got a lot of games to go through. We'll start with the opening game, Qatar versus Ecuador. We said in our predictions for the group, we don't think either of these are going to get through no. so it's already a massive match where the loser could virtually be out yeah. um, and I'm going to go for Qatar to edge it just as that home nation 2-1 to Qatar yeah I'm going to back Qatar to win as well but I think it's going to be quite a low scoring game so I'm going to say Qatar 1-0 I think it could be very edgy as you say I think both teams are kind of going into this thinking we need to win so I think that's why it's going to be a low scoring 1-0 there we go. On to the next game. Now, this is interesting. Senegal versus Netherlands. Once again, we've backed these two to both progress mm -hmm. into the knockout stages. But what's interesting with this game is if Senegal could get something, a win or even a draw, that could obviously give them a good chance of even topping this group and therefore maybe avoiding England in the next round. I do think Netherlands will be too strong. I like yeah. their back line. I like them going forwards. Senegal maybe to get on the score sheet. We've said they've got a mm -hmm. good team, but 2-1 Netherlands. I'm going to say 3-1 Netherlands. I think it's going to be a fairly convincing win. Um, I have said that Netherlands are going to top the group and I think they need to use this game as a bit of a statement, so 3-1. There we go. Right, on to the next one. It is England versus Iran and obviously a lot of people might be watching from around the world and think we're just arrogant England fans, but I do think this game is the easiest game on paper for yeah. England. Now watch me go and be wrong. I'm going to be confident here and say England win this game 3-0. We've got a great team. I think Southgate's actually picked a very good squad. We'd obviously like to see Coventry boys, James Madison and Callum Wilson, Wilson get... Yeah. Yeah. Um, appearances but I think Harry Kane is going to lead the line and maybe yeah. get a couple goals 3-0 okay I'm going to say 2-0 I don't think it's going to be a complete rollover for me but I think a clean sheet is very important here I, need, I think we need it for uh, the team confidence I think we need a few goals to obviously get the points um, so for me yeah we're going to win 2-0 Okay, on to the next one. I'm quite intrigued by this game. USA versus Wales. Now, I think it could be out of these two to qualify with England. But once again, you never know. This group could be unpredictable. I think we, we know you've got a good player in Pulisic for USA. Yeah. And obviously with Wales, they've got some good players that we know from the English leagues. Gareth Bale being that main one. I think this could be a really tight game. I'm going to say maybe even a bit nervy. 1-1. Yeah, I do think this is going to be quite a nervy game. As you said with USA, they've got Pulisic, but they've also got that sergeant from Norwich who could have a good competition, a lot of pressure. Um, with Wales, obviously they've got their key man, Gareth Bale. But I'm going to actually back USA to win this one. I'm going to say 2-1. 2-1 to, yeah. to the United States. Yeah. Wow, that's massive. Okay, on to the next one where you've got Argentina versus Saudi Arabia. Now, we mentioned in our group predictions how Saudi Arabia lost 5-0 to Russia at the last World Cup in their first game. And this is now against Argentina, who I've put as my favourites for this competition. I can only see this going one way. I think it's going to be absolute slaughter, 4-0. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I agree. I think this could be... A very one-sided game. I think the possession's just going to be like unreal. It'll be something stupid like 80 to 20 percent. Mm. It's just going to be no contest um, coming up against Saudi Arabia. So for me, I'll say three nil. Three nil. Okay. Next one, I think, is probably one of the most evenly matched games out of round one in the group stage. It's Mexico versus Poland. Uh, Mexico, we said possible dark horses. They tend to do fairly well in World Cups. They can sometimes get through their group stage. And we've said they've got some good players: Lozana, Alvarez, Ochoa. Poland have got Robert Lewandowski, so I think that almost guarantees them a goal. Yeah. I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. Okay, I might say 1-0 Poland. I think it's going to be a really, really tight game. So there could be a few goals or there could be not many at all. But I'm just going to have to back Poland to win. So 1-0. One, 1-0. Nil. One, nil. Okay, on to the next one. We've got the next group, which is Denmark versus Tunisia in the next game. And this is quite an interesting one. I've said I think Denmark might have a battle to get through this group. Mm. Um, Tunisia, they have got Hannibal, as we mentioned, of Birmingham City and Manchester United. I think Denmark did really impress me in last year's Euros. They've got Christian Eriksen. They've got good players. I think they win 3-1. Yeah, I'm going to say 2-0 Denmark for me. I think, as I said before, Denmark are going to finish second in the group. So I think this is the game where they're going to win. So... 
2-0. 2-0. Okay, on to the next one. Same group. It's France versus Australia in this game. I always like to see the Socceroos at the World Cup. And I'd be, it'd be great to see Australia get through this group. Yeah. But they're going up against the reigning champions. Um, I feel like Australia might make it a tight game. And if they can get out of this by just losing by one goal, it could help them if they were to go through the group on goal difference. France 2, Australia 1. Okay, I'm going to say 3-0 France. When France, gets, when France get going, they're just a very, very good squad. And I'm not taking anything away from Australia. Australia, I think they might do all right, but coming up against France is very, very, it's a very, very tough game. So for me, France three 0 France three 0 Okay, next up we have got Germany versus Japan. This is Group E. I think Germany are going to be too strong once again. Mm -hmm. I don't see much of a contest here. Japan have got one or two decent individuals, but Germany have got a good squad, and I think it's coming together. I think they could go quite far in this tournament. Three 0 Yeah, I think Germany have a very, very strong squad. As I've said before, I think they've got a strong back line, so I don't see them conceding in this one, and they're strong going forward too. So for me, it's going to be a bit of a rollover. 4-0. 4, nil. Four nil. Okay, next stop in the same group, it's Spain versus Costa Rica. Now, Costa Rica people wrote off back in World Cup 2014 when they were in the so-called group of death and they went and won it. So, you can't rule them out of this, but Spain, as I said, I think they could top the group here. They've got a strong team. I feel like they'll dominate this game, but maybe not as get maybe not get as many goals as Germany do against Japan. Mm. I'm going to say 2-0. I'm going to say 2-1. I actually see them conceding in this. Um, I think, yeah, Spain are going to go into this as the clear favourites, and I do think they're going to pick up the win. But I don't see them making it an easy game. So 2-1 for me. 2-1. OK, next up, the next group, and it's Morocco versus Croatia. I've said I think Croatia could be a dark horse for this competition. I, I expect them to get through the group with ease and yeah. then maybe get quite far in the knockout stages. Uh, Morocco have got one or two decent players. Um, is it Elias Chena or QPR? Chena, and they've got yeah. Ziyech as well. So yeah. So they've got a couple of decent players, but I think Croatia are going to be too strong. Modric, Kovacic, Brozovic, 3-0. Yeah, going into this, Croatia are going to be clear favourites to pick up the win. Yeah, you mentioned a few of their players. I think you missed out Perisic, but very, very good players. So for me, they're going to win comfortably 2-0. 2-0, OK. Uh, next up, it's Belgium versus Canada. Canada are doing well to get to this competition, but yeah. they start off with a really tough game here. Mm. Um, Belgium have got so much quality, and people have been banging on about how good their squad is for years now, but um, keep missing these anything. opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They need to win this and put out a statement, but I feel like Canada might be able to frustrate them and keep it at 0-0 to half-time, and maybe Belgium win, but not convincingly. I'll say 2-0. OK, now I'm going to say convincingly. They're going to win 3 now. Um, yeah, I agree. They've got an amazing squad, but they've not actually won anything with it. So I think they need to kind of pull their fingers out because their squad will be aging quickly in these competitions. Um, but for me, they're going to win this 3 now. OK, next group. And it's Switzerland versus Cameroon next. Um, Cameroon have got one or two decent players, but I expect S uh, Switzerland to get through the group yeah. with Brazil. And they need to win this game. This is a massive game mm. already because Brazil are going to be favourites. So it could be a battle for second place here. I think Switzerland will win 1-0. And I'm going to say Granite Xhaka gets the goal. OK. Um, I'm going to say Switzerland 2-0. I think they are going to go through in second place for me. So I think they need to win this one if they're going to do that. So for me, 2-0. OK, next up, Serbia versus Brazil. Obviously, the first game for Brazil is going to be them, you know, on full display. Everyone's going to think, well, are they going to live up to yeah. some expectations here? I think a and lot of people will have them to win. I think win. they will, yeah. yeah. Like I say, Neymar, Gabriel Jesus, Vinicius, they've got so Edison much quality. Well. Yeah, Edison and Alisson. Imagine yeah. that depth in goalkeepers. <laughs> it's crazy. 2-0 Brazil. Yeah, as much as I've said, I kind of hope Mitrovic does well um, for Serbia. I don't see them scoring. I don't see them getting anything from this game. So for me, it's going to be a clear Brazil win. 4-0. 4-0. Wow. Okay, on to the last group. We've got Uruguay versus South Korea next. Uruguay are so good going forwards. And this is a massive opportunity for Darwin Nunez to prove yeah. some of his haters wrong. Because I feel like at Liverpool, he's actually starting to prove himself. But he's now he's on to, the yeah. big stage. Uh, but you've got South Korea. And we said one or two good players. Obviously, Hyung Min Son is massive. But Hoang Hee Chan as well, possibly. Um, I think you just got to feed the ball to those players and hope they can do something. And they might be able to. 1-1. One, one. Oh, OK. No, I'm going to back Uruguay to win. I think there's going to be goals in this. I think it's going to be quite an entertaining game. Um, I do see both teams scoring, but I'm going to back Uruguay to win 3-1. 3-1. Okay, the last game is also in that last group, and it's Portugal versus Ghana. Um, Portugal are another team which people might have high expectations for based on their squad. Like we've mentioned, they've got um, Diaz, Cancelo, uh, Ronaldo, Fernandes. I could go on for ages. Very good team. Uh, but I think Ghana might frustrate them. Ghana are such a big 
powerful physical team mm. and uh, they might bully Portugal but Portugal squeezed through this oh, one yeah. one nil yeah I think with Portugal you've got to say they've got the experience of doing well in competitions now they've got very very good players across the pitch so for me they're going to win 2 nil. but I'm not taking anything away from Ghana I think they will give them a good game there you go guys that wraps up our group stage round one predictions obviously join us later in the competition when we do it again do get your predictions in and let us know if you are a patreon when you comment down below because we are going to be doing a little predictions league at the end of these videos do make sure to like do make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out